And let me thank everyone for being here today uh, for an, an exciting, an exciting announcement. Uh, I'm here uh, again with members from City Council, uh, Houston Independent School Board, um, of course, uh, 50, um, uh, Al Kashani uh, from Hard Zone United Group. Um, it is not every day that I get to welcome a rapper, an actor, a philanthropist, and like Curtis 50 Cent Jackson to Houston City Hall. Um, and, and then not every day do I get to uh, introduce, you know, the Congresswoman of the 18th Congressional District, Sheila Jackson Lee. You know, welcome and good to have her here with us today. So look, uh, he's not just a visitor, 50 is not just a visitor, uh, because earlier this year, uh, 50 uh, announced his move to the city of Houston from New, New York, and I want to say thank you, man. I, you know, uh, I, am, I am honored to be your mayor, you know. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, so let me just say that uh, some people have asked uh, how the move to Houston came about. Uh, Fifty certainly can speak for himself, uh, but there were a lot of people in conversation. Al was very instrumental. I want to give you a lot of credit, Al, you know, and others, and um, encouraging him to come. I know the congresswoman encouraged him to come. I encouraged him to come, and uh, and I'm glad that I'm glad that he is here. Um, and then, you know, we tell them about the people, the cultural food and events, uh, that our kids and our students uh, in the city of Houston that we take pride in and we love each and every one of the students in, in our city with so much potential. And of course, for, for our kids especially, uh, now they have the opportunity not only to hear about and hear and see 50, but uh, now to know that they are living right here in the city where he is as well. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, 50 is a businessman who is interested in investing in this city, creating jobs, and supporting young people. In a short amount of time, uh, 50 has made uh, his presence known in Houston, starting on social media. We all saw the photo of him standing in front of the iconic Astrodome <laughs> to announce his move. He wasn't supposed to do it at that time. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, you know, we write our own script, you know. Um, but before that, back in December, uh, he donated thousands of dollars worth of electronics for children's Christmas presents that were passed out at the Toyota Center. And then he brought himself a cowboy hat and some boots and went to the rodeo just like regular Houstonians. But 50 does everything big, and he was crowned the reserve grand champion best of show in the 2021 Rodeo Uncorked International Wine Competition. Yeah. That's a big title to say that his success means the rodeo can help hundreds of students. And more importantly, he is making a positive impact in our community, and he's doing it now. And today he is announcing the launch of a program that will benefit three high schools in the Houston Independent School District. A quality education is one of the best tools we can give young people to help them succeed in the classroom and in their future professional careers. And that is why we have the City of Houston's Office of Innovation and I've created the Office of Education to focus on these priorities. Often students residing in neighborhoods that have for decades been underserved and under-resourced also need additional support to help them excel in the classroom. And I'm honored to stand today with Curtis Jackson and the G Unity Foundation. Together with the Houston United Group, Al, they are partnering to help high schoolers learn business skills that define successful entrepreneurship. The partnership will bring a groundbreaking initiative called the G Unity Business Lab to three high schools, Kashmir, Worthen, and Wheatley. School, yeah. Schools located in complete communities at a time when students most need to reconnect with learning and acquire critical professional skills. Students in the lab will engage in MBA level lessons 
that represent the full life cycle of a product or concept from ideal creation to market branding to running a company. And why is this important for the city as well as HISD? Because as we sprint to create more opportunities and startups, technology and innovation, we also want to create additional opportunities for young people who will be the entrepreneurs, the scientists, the engineers and business leaders of the future. And Houston was recently named the second fastest growing tech hub in the nation. We have the ION, recently Greentown Labs, the city's first climate tech startup incubator opened its doors. And this week, City Council will vote on another partnership to bring a major company to the Houston spaceport at Ellerton Airport in Clear Lake, expected to add more than 200 engineering and technician jobs. They'll join the honor to the world's first commercial space station builder, Axion Space. And this program is another platform to help build the leaders and workforce of the, of the future. Educational opportunities play a key role in Houston's quality of life. So let me just pause and, and bring up, um, and I'm going to say Curtis 50 Cents Jackson, who will be followed by Josh Wax of the G-Unity Foundation. And let me just say, um, you know, when he offered me the role to play in his in, in powers, um, I love this city so much, I just delayed my acting career. Uh, you know, <laughs> and I was just at church on Sunday. <laughs> but, <laughs> but nonetheless, the very fact that he is now an Houstonian, I want you to know I could not be more proud. And then you're here and what you're doing on behalf of students already speaks volumes. Ladies and gentlemen, 50. All right. <laughs> Um, I just want, I want to start by thanking uh, Mayor Turner, you know, being able to get, to get to know him and work with him over the past two years has been pretty great. It's what kind of swayed uh, me to come out to Houston. Also, um, uh, Congresswoman uh, Sheila. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm looking for you. Yeah, she, she, that was not a joke. <laughs> you, it, was, it was a threat. It was a threat. See, quick, you learn that you don't promise Sheila anything and not do it. Very quick, you know. And I, I caught, I caught the drift. It, it feels like, like, like my, uh, like my, my mom is talking to me. Like my grandma, she look at you and you know, just don't play. Just do what you're supposed to do. But I also want to thank Dr. Lathan and Al for making these things happen. And um, I'm really excited about it. I've, I've over the last uh, 20 years, I've been focusing on academic enrichment projects and uh, making donations to other existing organization, organizations that uh, can uh, execute it. Because running a charitable organization is like running a whole business. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not a joke. So I, I try not to run it. I try to take the, make the donations to the right organizations as we go. And um, these programs, I think, will really help and be uh, Exciting to get people back involved in everything that's going on. Now, following COVID, you know, providing the opportunities and the tools for people to make that that path easier. You know, in the entrepreneurship, that it's, it's exciting to be a part of it and a great way to start things in Houston. So, this is three schools now, but it's going to be a lot more. Watch me, Josh. We're excited. Where's Thanks, Curtis. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the foundation's work and its focus moving forward. Uh, as Curtis mentioned, he, the foundation has been around for almost 20 years. Mm. During that time, the foundation's been active all over the world, with Curtis traveling as far as Somalia mm. with the United Nations World Food Program, and as close to contributing, with, as the mayor mentioned, to local toy drives here in uh, Houston. We are today launching the foundation's website, uh, gunityfoundation.org. Curtis has made the specific focus around supporting efforts to help students uh, with academics, developing community leaders, 
as well as helping to develop the mental and physical well-being of our children. Today, the foundation is committing $300,000 to get the G-Unity Business Lab up and running. Here, here. His goal is to develop a proof of concept that, as Curtis said earlier, can be scaled to make an even bigger impact. This partnership is the inaugural G-Star uh, program for the foundation. Curtis gets directly involved with his grantees and has been involved in the conceptualization and onwards of this program. To date, Curtis has fully founded, uh, to date, Curtis, Curtis has fully funded the foundation with his own money. We now hope that those in Houston and beyond will be part of supporting these efforts. So please go to www.gunityfoundation.org and join Curtis in this important work. Finally, I want to introduce uh, Al Kashani, Vice President of the Horizon Group. Al is a tremendous philanthropist in his own right and has worked tirelessly with the mayor the Houston Independent School District, and Dr. Latham to make this program a reality. Al. Those are hard people to follow, so I'll just make mine to the point and the quick. It's a pleasure for me to be here. You know, the relationship starts way, way, way back when, when I was listening to 50s music. You know, <laughs> I'm a fan. Sadie, where are you? So when I play the candy shop and I blast the neighbors out there, you know, hey, I just knew something was going to happen. There was a bond there. So 50 and I met about two years ago. And uh, we actually, it was through a good, our good friend, mutual friend there, Steve, that connected us there. And... We FaceTime, and it's funny because I was just looking at mileage of where I came from and he came from is about 10,000 miles away. We came in from different opposite spectrums, but we met somewhere in the middle, and our missions are aligned. When I talk to him, there's a lot of, I have a Rolodex of celebrities, a lot of people in the movies, acting, uh, music, everything else. Not everybody does what 50 does. He's really sincere. When he told me, Al, I want to give back to the community. I know where I came from, and I don't forget where I came from. Mm. That really said well in my heart. You know, it, it's, it's, this is just fun doing this. To me, this not work. I put these type of things on a priority because it's been a really, really pleasure working with this group. And let me just say this here. This is impossible to do with a team. Elizabeth, please raise your hand over there. Tracy. You know, obviously, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, the mayor, Dr. Latham, and her staff there. I'm sure I'm leaving a lot of people there. It could not be done without all their efforts there. We worked a lot of hours. We actually participated in every single lesson plans. This is just not another program. This is the real thing. Just imagine 50's book, which is Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter. And <clears throat> this is lined up with the MBA as a Harvard or a U of H or major schools, the actual, the lesson plans are aligned with each other. Whether it's marketing, whether it's innovation, there's a product there. So not everybody's gonna be privileged to go to a college. Mm. Some of them, they don't have the resources. And we just cannot assume that. So this would create an opportunity for those of the students that are not fortunate enough, by the way, these are the three of the schools that they are really challenged. That's why we target those three schools there to get an opportunity to think as an MBA executive. Just imagine an 11th grader being able to learn, learn to read a financial statement. Yay. Know what is a p and is. Understand profit and loss, depreciation, retain earnings. I bet some of us in this room, we don't even know what those words are. But you know, that's just the nature of the future there. You know, get rich or die trying, right? He's delivering what he's saying in his songs there. And this is about the empowerment. Poverty is one of the issues that this country unfortunately faces that. And we are here trying to help to get these people the tools and the, the needs that they need to make a next step there. 
I can thank 50 enough, Steve and his whole team. Like I said, this guy has been great to work with. I just look forward to a lot of, lot of other programs that is going to come. This is just the beginning. And as 50 says, I will explain later. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Al. And today's announcement is also a shining achievement uh, in the tenure of Houston Independent School District Interim Superintendent, Dr. Granita Latham. She's just done some incredible things um, as the superintendent of HISD, and this is another one and the collaboration that she's made with 50. And uh, we have her for just a few more weeks. Uh, but uh, as you can see, she is working, you know, as she also uh, transitions. So with the utmost respect and admiration, uh, let me call, bring forth now uh, the superintendent of uh, HISD, Dr. Granita Latham. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you again to 50 Curtis uh, Jackson. He said 50 said Curtis Jackson. <laughs> Curtis Jackson, we are so delighted, and to the mayor, uh, Congresswoman Al Kashani, and Sadie, and also Josh and Steve is somewhere around there. Steve, hi there. I want to just say thank you. You know, I receive a lot of calls that people want to work with the district. They want to do these different things. And I'll go, yeah, right, okay, okay. So Al calls, and you all know how fast Al speaks, right? Oh, we got this big project going with 50 Cent. I said, 50 Cent up in the club? <laughs> okay, Al, okay, Al, up, okay, Al. <laughs> no, I'm really serious, Granita. We want to do something for students at Worthing and Wheatley and Cashmere. And you all, most of everyone should know, those are some of our most precious schools in the district. And so in order to work with those schools, you really have to bring it. You have to bring some money, some talent, and some time. So thank you, 50, for bringing all of those, okay? Because those are some important students there. And we have been working on this for over a year now. And I know some discussion started two years ago. I want to thank our board president, Dr. Patricia Allen, who's here today, and also Kathy Bluford Daniels, one of our trustees, because they've been very supportive through this process. I'm excited because our students will have an opportunity at their home schools at the school to participate in a program for 12 weeks, two hours a day, where they'll learn all the aspects of, of business and entrepreneurship. And I'm just so excited because this is what we want. When people relocate to our community, we want them to bring their time and their talent. And so I'm really excited for our student. I'm ex students, I'm excited that this will expand beyond three schools. You notice I said that expand beyond three schools. And uh, Dr. Ken Davis, I want to thank you from our team. He's been helping facilitate this, and I'm going to hold him accountable, even though I'm not going to be in this city or this state. I'm going to hold him accountable for working with Al to make sure that this expands. But once again, thank you so much, uh, Curtis Jackson. I'm a little jealous. I, I, I noticed your belt there. You come into the city. I've been here six years. You come in here, be here one month. You got a, a belt. You got a prize. Okay, so it's like that, huh, Mayor Turner? You really completed the community, Mayor Turner. I really, you know, it, so that's what it takes. And so maybe I'll get one on the way out the door. I don't know. But thank you for supporting our students. Thank you for modeling what it means to come up and to come out of a community, but to give back to those in need. Thank you, and God bless you. All right, Dr. Granita Lee. <laughs> <laughs> but just before I bring up the Congresswoman. Don't talk. Don't say it out loud. Don't say it out loud. Let it be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. I better wear it in Missouri. I'm going to wear it in Missouri. <laughs> Got my cowboy boots. <laughs> now, she just... Trustee, she just started talking and talking and talking. But let me let me just say this. I could not be more proud. I'm all going so going to say that I'm gonna miss you. And quite frankly, I wish you were not leaving. But uh, Houston's treasure will now be someone else's gain. But that does not at any way take away from all that you have done. And this announcement today with 50 is being on behalf of the students that you have provided leadership to under your watch and you are deserving <laughs> of this belt buckle <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> i love it i love it thank you 50 <laughs> <laughs> all right now, uh, I am honored and glad to bring forth uh, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, I tell you. 
Uh, she has just been very instrumental in establishing a relationship with 50. Like he said, uh, she's pretty tough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this press conference was not supposed to be at noon. <laughs> this press conference was supposed to be at 2 o'clock. But the Congresswoman has a, has a way of kind of rearranging the universe. <laughs> but we also do it because we value and appreciate her so much and love her dearly. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. I need to start out by saying that I'm truly humbled, Mayor, and I really do mean that. I am on, en route to Washington, and I'm truly humbled that you all would uh, have the ability to do so. I'm humbled. I'm going to say 50 cents. Um, <laughs> Mr. Jackson, I'm humbled. We are still tracking our roots because we think we have crossed some patterns there with Curtis Jackson and Sheila Jackson Lee. Um, I'm humbled, Al Kashani. I'm delighted of your stupendous leadership. And I'll speak about that for a moment, and I will uh, be pointed on our remarks. I'm humbled, uh, Dr. Latham, for the service you have given and the pathway uh, that you have left for us to follow. We simply need to get on the yellow brick road and follow uh, the leadership you've given. I'm humbled by your service. Uh, Dr. Allen, thank you so very much. An educator's educator. Um, I would almost pronounce, Mayor, that she could continue to be the board chairperson, but we are grateful for her service. Grateful for you, uh, Kathy Buford Daniels. Grateful for Congresswoman Jackson and Pollard uh, and Mayor um, when I'm in Washington, there are many mayors that come to our offices. We interact with cities from not only around the nation, uh, but really around the world. As a purveyor of cities, there are some elements that make cities great. Certainly it is the people. And Mr. Jackson, you will find that there are people in Houston that never say no. Whatever you need them to do, they will collaborate with you. We love the people of Houston and this region They've been through a lot, but they're always there for each other. Then, of course, it has to be the kind of outstanding stand-up leadership such that Mayor Turner has created with his council, his cabinet, that also never says no, but always says, I have a solution. Just wait a moment, and we'll get through this together. That's a unique and unbelievable story and history of this great city. I have the privilege of representing it in the United States Congress, and Houston's name comes up quite often. Certainly sometimes we are struggling, but they always look at us to say we'll get through it. Al Kashani is a representative of what is great about America. It's not where you started from, but it's how you ended. And Al has been a generous benefactor, and look who his friend is. Yes, Curtis Jackson is a humble man. He has an outward demeanor, that is his business. He has a talent in production, that is his business. But he is a humble man. How fortunate we are to have the meeting of Al uh, and Mr. Jackson come to a place sharing love. Thank you, Sadie Rucker. Thank you to Al's staff. This is a moment in history. Just let me briefly give you some statistics and then as they say, go to my seat. But I'm really moved by what we're doing this morning. Uh, and let me make a promise. There's a new breath of fresh air in Washington. We want to do what is right by our children and by our nation. And I know that the U.S. Department of Education's new secretary is going to be hearing from Sheila Jackson Lee. She's going to, he is going to be hearing about this program and what you're doing here in Houston, Texas, HISD, so that we can see how far this can go. And I thank you for this vision. It's always better to go with a pilot and a program than words. Thank you all for doing that. But let me just quickly say that this is a uh, window, a door that is needed. In a decade, 70% of America's small businesses fail. They fail periodically over a period of time. First year, 20%, second year, 30%. Then you go on, and in a decade, 10% of our small businesses fail. Over 53% of black businesses report that their revenue dropped at least half during the pandemic. We lost so many businesses during the pandemic. These businesses are role models, but they're also opportunities for employment for our young students. 
Just imagine how excited they will be because of G-Unity Foundation, because of the Horizon United Group and HISD, that they will have students who will know and be able to analyze the fabric of finance in not only in their community, but in America, in their future going forward. We've heard of ones and twos of young people starting their businesses. They've been on uh, various TV programs highlighting them. Ones and twos. Just think if there is a core group of young people from Worthing to Wheatley to Kashmir that are in the battlefield and they're going to stand up and say, this program means I will not fail. That's what this program is about, that they can say they will not fail. And that is what America is about, saying to our young people, you're not a throwaway. Thank you, Mr. Jackson, for supporting the Toys for Kids. They were very happy with their gift of technology. So thank you for a willing superintendent, an outstanding board that is here who care about our children, HISD board. Other school districts will be looking with a degree of, of envy, uh, and it will be, not be a negative envy. It will be one that is positive. And the U.S. Department of Education will have the opportunity to review a program that is actually functioning and hear from young people that are. Now, my final comment, as I thank you all so much and thank you humbly for allowing me to be here before I uh, take off to Washington, let me tell you what else makes a great city. It is when corporate community, in this instance, corporate Houston, finds its way to be problem solvers finds its way to say, what's going on here in the legacy room on May 17th? What's going on? Let me call our mayor and offer to expand the program to all of our schools. Let me expand it to other school districts in the area. Let me find a way to take uh, the decades-long profits, decades, maybe a century, that I've gained from living in a city like Houston with the talent that we've offered to them, and let me now follow someone else's pathway of how I give. The academic loss of our children with the pandemic has been enormous. We're fighting to give those monies to you with the American Families Plan, American Jobs Plan soon. But wouldn't it be great for that partnership, now sparked by my newfound relative uh, and uh, the man who understood how definitively I speak, really trained by Mayor Turner. He stands, uh, lets me do this, to be able to say, come one, come all. We thank you, we're grateful, we're humbled, uh, and we're grateful to you, Al, and to all of the persons. And Mayor, thank you very much for being the leader of a city that welcomes all people and makes us a great American city and a great international city. God bless all of you, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you, Congresswoman. And I do want to acknowledge also uh, the Mayor's Office on Education and the Mayor's Office on Technology and Innovation uh, for their collaboration as well. And this will be an ongoing collaboration uh, with HISD. And then want to acknowledge Michael Heckman, uh, the CEO of Houston First. Um, because, uh, quite frankly, uh, 50 your presence here will attract others here as well. And uh, I know you, you have the, the rodeo buckle on, and, <laughs> and that's good, because that's, that's Houston. That's Houston. Uh, but uh, this one is from the city. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, look, excited. Dr. Greedy Latham, thank you. Uh, Chairperson, don't you want to come and just say a, just say hello this morning before we Dr. wrap Allen, it up? Thank you. Dr. Dr. Allen, thank come you. on. Good morning. Good morning. I am honored and humbled that Fitty decided he wants to roll up in Houston and uh, and assist our children to start their own entrepreneurships like his. They have a great role model. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. City and schools work together. You want to have a great city, you got to have some great kids, some great students, and provide them with the opportunities that they deserve. And uh, the two are not on different um, parallel, on different tracks. We all work hand in hand together. So again, 50, thank you. Al, Sadie, love you, appreciate you, thank you. The Congresswoman, all of you that's present today, the council members, uh, uh, trustees, um, it's a collaborative effort, and the best is yet to come.